Hey, what's up? I was out yesterday uh, testing out some new camera equipment. I got a 1.4x teleconverter to go on my 300 millimeter lens, so I thought I'd uh, give it a test run, share the results with you. Uh, I did not see Planet X where I found it three days ago. Um, crystal clear skies yesterday, no chemtrails, um, just wasn't there. So, does that mean it doesn't exist? No, just means. I didn't find it in the place I found it in four days ago. So uh, anyway, here's the first shot. Uh, so I put an infrared filter on this, and you got something here, which could potentially potentially be a flare. Uh, I'm always suspect whenever I add a new piece of equipment to my setup because uh, flares happen, especially shooting straight into the sun. But this uh, this guy's got a nice cloud edge in front of it. So if that was a flare, I really wouldn't expect to see that. So indecisive. But that is a pretty hard edge for those clouds to appear. But then as I was looking at that, I noticed this up here. This is really interesting. Here's the uh, here's the edge of the sun. Then you have this this crown effect behind it. Again, that's in the background. So. Not sure what this guy is here. Again, indecisive. Only because I have new equipment, I don't know. Well, I'll show you a flare later that looks pretty convincing. But that usually when things are in the background, uh, you know, I've never gotten a flare to appear anywhere other than in the foreground. But because of the, the straight-on sunshot, I suppose anything's possible. But that looks like a really hard edge there, cut off by the rim of the sun. So uh, I'll still say indecisive on that guy. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this, get this one here. Uh, here's the sun. And we got this. Which could potentially be a flare, but there is something off to the right of it, too. So I'll have to say indecisive on that guy. Something here. The sun's down there. Hard to say. Now here, this, this next one's interesting. I mean, that that looks pretty convincing, doesn't it? That's why we have to be careful when we're shooting into the sunlight because, I mean, the ghosting effect. Uh, you know, I had this on shutter aperture priority and uh, just kind of pulled the trigger, and that's what we got. And I mean. It, to look at that, I mean, first look, you're going to say, wow, that's really there. But really what it is, it's a inverted sun. The, um, the trees appeared up here that are down here. And if I adjust the color enough, you can also see the power line streaking through it. So uh, very deceptive. That's why we got to be careful. Before we make any assumptions, you can see the black line almost looks like a atmosphere band, but it's not. I can assure you that I've uh, I looked at this pretty, pretty in detail, and uh, that's a ghosting of the sun. So those are the kind of things that can happen. Now I did notice, however, this little guy down here. I don't. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe. Be a bird, maybe? I don't know. Might be too big to be a bird. It's got a sharp edge to it. Anyway, not sure. So yeah, that's uh that's the kind of thing that can happen when you're pointing, you know, three hundred millimeter lens with a teleconverter directly at the sun. You can get all kinds of weird stuff happening. And, uh, yeah, since I didn't see what I saw three, four days ago, I didn't really take that many shots. Nothing uh, really grabbed my eye, actually, until later. And let's see where that footage is. Yeah, we got this guy here. Um, thought it was a contrail of a jet. 
and I don't know what it is. I assume that's a jet, although I don't know. But uh, you, you can definitely see a meteorite effect here, whatever it is, glowing pretty hot. Uh, that was barely naked eye, but it was was viewable naked eye. Zoom back out here. Okay, yeah, here is a better shot here. Yeah, that thing's smoking. More fireballs. I mean, what are the odds of being out uh, for a half hour and being able to see a fireball? That tells me there's these are probably common events, which I don't think they should be. Yeah, through the viewfinder, it lit up bright right there. I was lucky enough to get a shot, and then it kind of kind of fizzled out a bit. And again, that's uh, that's probably 400 millimeter view there. So it was out there a ways. It just kind of dissipated, burnt itself out. A little smoke trail there. Way cool, though. It was worth the outing. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, Planet X uh, could be behind the sun. I, you know, nobody really knows what this thing is or how it moves. So, uh, you know, you astronomers out there, don't don't pretend like you know everything. I mean, really, when it comes to the universe, spiritual things, what do you really know? Come on. When you meet God, you're going to find out how much you don't know. Okay? So, here, here's a little joke for you, for you astronomers. What's the difference between God and an astronomer? God knows he's not an astronomer. <laughs> so, anyway, that's all I got for you guys right now. Uh keep the cameras uh, skyward and uh, I'm going to continue to uh, test out some of this new gear and uh, maybe uh, focus a little more on the sun after uh, after this picture here and uh, let me just tell you that's so bright it's so difficult to photograph directly into the high sun um, let alone look at it uh, it's just it's a, it's a challenge but uh anyway i'll keep at it and uh let you guys know what i find over and out